It's like 8.50 in the morning right now. I am going to make myself a coffee and I figured today is the perfect day to be extra. Today we are going to go above and beyond. I made coffee ice cubes. I am going to froth my milk. It's gonna be wild. First, I am going to brew coffee into just this glass. I am using the Starbucks Pike Placed Roast Coffee for the Keurig. Normally I would use some sort of cold brew, whether it be the Chamberlain coffee steeping bags or the Chameleon cold brew coffee pods. However, I'll be honest with you, I completely forgot. I fell asleep last night watching Animal Crossing Island tour videos, so I forgot to make my coffee last night. So we're gonna make this coffee and I'm gonna go put it in the fridge and let it cool for a little bit so that when I put it over my ice cubes, they won't melt as quickly. So I got my ice cubes out of the ice trays and I just put them all in the jar. They were melting a little bit. Then I went and I got my milk and my creamer that I was planning on using. I put these both mixed together into another jar. I put the cover on and I shook it up a little bit just to make sure they were all mixed. And then I popped it in the microwave. I did three rounds of 15 seconds just to warm it a little bit but not make it steaming hot. While that was warming, I grabbed my stevia and I just poured it right on top of the ice. Then I put the coffee into the jar and I made way too much coffee so I ended up actually having to drink some of it and it was disgusting. I haven't had straight black coffee since college so yeah you can imagine how that was. Then I started shaking up my milk and creamer and this did not work as well as I thought it was going to. I didn't have a milk frother so I thought that this would work and it didn't. So I ended up finding a hand mixer and using that. This is actually my sister's hand mixer, so Kat, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I it was very important, I needed a mixer. This will also be a good test to see if my family actually watches my videos, because if my sister doesn't say anything about this, then I know she didn't watch the video. So yeah, I just mixed this for a bit until I felt that it was frothed nicely. Um, yeah. Then I pour the milk into the coffee. As you can see, I got a nice bit of foam on the top. I really, I mean, I, I that was a success to me. And then I just mixed it up a little bit and I took a taste. Didn't really taste much different, but you know, the aesthetic was there, right? And that's really all we care about. Final review on the coffee. I normally would only use creamer. This time I put milk with my creamer. And I actually think I like it more because the milk sort of like makes it less sweet. And I kind of like it more like that. So maybe I'll start doing that every time. Was it worth it? I mean, not really. It didn't make the hugest difference. My foam is already gone, as you can see. I didn't use heavy cream. I know that somebody said when Starbucks makes their sweet cream, cold foam, they use heavy cream as well as milk, I think. So maybe next time I will try that and see if it makes a difference. But overall, I mean, it's good. It's not the greatest coffee I've had, but it's definitely not the worst. But it absolutely is the one that took the longest for me to make. Usually I will make it in the morning and it's done within 10 minutes. So, was it worth it? Maybe not. Was it fun? Sure. <laughs> I guess. Also, do you like my coasters? They are Hogwarts House Crest coasters. I got them for Christmas from my sister. Aren't they cute? Um, also, can we just look at how freaking cute this Starbucks tumbler is? Somebody on TikTok made a video about this Starbucks tumbler. I literally went on a hunt for this Starbucks tumbler because it was so pretty and if you know anything about TikTok, you know if somebody posts about something on TikTok and like people want to buy it, you'll never get your hands on it. You'll never get your hands on it. So I am thrilled that I got my hands on this. I also even got myself a hot version. These are recycled. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because I'm kind of obsessed with this cup. It has absolutely nothing to do with the video that you just watched, but if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Um, Starbucks, please sponsor me. I have so many Starbucks tumblers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. For Christmas, I did get a Disney cookbook, so I might also do a series of like trying every recipe from the Disney cookbook. I think that would be really fun. Let me know. Give this video a like if you would like to see any of that. I, I don't know if I'm going to have a comment section on this video, so if there isn't a comment section, just give it a like if you want to see any of these. Be sure to subscribe so that you know when I'm posting another video. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm like really jittery right now. Hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you next time with another video.
Starbucks, please send me more of this cup because I'm obsessed with it and I don't want to have to buy another one.